Guys, this is a combination of the slow boat from China and the incredibly fast boat from New York City. So first up, from Adafruit in New York is the BMP 280 temperature sensor. Yeah, guy down in there. This does temperature, pressure, and humidity all on one chip. This is going to be upgrade number two for my Arduino weather station. Next up, this one's pretty cool. I'm really excited about this. This is the Feather M0 with Wi-Fi. So this is the SAMD processor with the Wi-Fi chip and it is Arduino compatible. So now my Arduino projects can go online. Header pins. Now, guys, check this out. This is some serious quality packing from Adafruit, okay? Anti-static bag, in the bag, a humidity indicator, and a desiccant to keep my order of NeoPixels nice and dry. That's awesome. Props to Adafruit. And here's my other Adafruit. This is the NeoPixel RGB ring. 24 of these addressable RGB LEDs. And finally from the slow boat. This apparently came from the Seychelles Islands even though I ordered it from Banggood. Uh, it says it is a module kit with a total value of 350. Okay. If you saw the video, the slow boat video where I opened the uh, package that contained the AM radio, this is what I was actually looking for in that package. This is uh, SKU 187-857-140H0PCK and this is the LM317 based power supply. Like a bench power supply here. And you know, for something coming from China, this is packed pretty well. Here is the uh, clear plastic case. Here is the transformer. 110 volts, 50 hertz. Oh, that's strange, we're at 60 hertz. Output 12 volts. It's going to be a little on the low side. If we're only putting 12 volts in, the LM317 is going to put out 12 minus the reference voltage of 1.25 volts. So we're not going to be able to get quite 12 volts out. Non-polarized line cord. They tin the, uh, the wires in these connections here. That's good. Now this looks like it actually comes with instructions. Could they even be in English? Holy cow, they are in English. Installment instructions of LM317 adjustable voltage stabilized source. And you see we've got our schematic uh, PC board layout. 
how to install the LM on the heat sink, the pictures. Well, that's the best instruction sheet that I've seen yet from uh, China, and it doesn't even seem like it's in Chinglish. Now it comes with one of these little three-wire voltmeters. Uh, if you're hooking one of these up yourself, the black is the ground, the red is the power, and the white is the sense. There's our board. Oh, and it's got them crappy solder pads. China special solder pads. And there's the heat sink. Well, let me tell you, friends. I don't think that is going to sink much heat. From what I've seen online, we'd be lucky to get 200 millivolts out of this. But there's the rest of the bits and bots, and we'll be adding all this up, putting it together, putting some heat, putting some solder, and hopefully not making it go bang. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why are you keeping me waiting? You know you like this stuff, otherwise you wouldn't be watching it. Subscribe, come on.